Hello, in front of me I have Fitbit Ace 3 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this smart band with the iPhone. First you will need to turn on your smart band and to turn it on simply plug it in into a charger. So you will need to take a cable, charging cable that was provided with your smart band. You will need to plug in the smart band into a cable like this and then plug in the second end of the cable, the USB end into a uh, working computer or uh, charging brick basically. And once the uh, smart band will get the power, it will turn on auto automatically. Okay. After you turn on the smart band, you will need to download and install the Fitbit application on your iPhone. So let's open the App Store on our iPhone. In the App Store, let's tap on search, tap on the search bar, type in Fitbit and tap on search. Find this application called Fitbit Health and Fitness, tap on it to select it and then tap on the get button to install it. Once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, you will get a couple of pop-ups to allow some permissions. Here we have the permission for, to, for the application to uh, use Bluetooth and we need to allow it. So let's tap on OK. Now it's also a good chance to check if the Bluetooth is enabled on our iPhone. So let's open the panel. And as you can see on, on my phone, it's enabled. But if it's disabled on yours, please enable it. And once you're done, you can go back to the app. And now we can uh, either log in into a Fitbit account or cre create a new account by tapping on join Fitbit. I already have an account, so I'm going to tap on login. Tap right here, enter the email address. Then tap right here and enter the password. So give me a couple of seconds. And once you're done entering the email and password, you can tap on login. Oh, my bad, I made a mistake in the email address. And now it should log in. After you log in, you will be asked for more permissions like uh, ability to, to send the notifications. So if you want to, uh, receive the notifications on your smart band, you need to allow this permission. If you don't, you can tap on don't allow. I'm gonna allow it. And here we have the uh, today page of the app. This is the main page of the application. Now let's tap on the profile icon in the top left corner, open the account menu. And here we need to tap on my family. I already have the family set up, but uh, if you want to pair the devices for kids like Fitbit Ace 3, you will need to set up the family, you will need to add the guardian and the uh, child account basically. And once you set up the family, you have the guardian and the child, you can tap on switch to kid view. Basically we need to switch to the kid view to pair the, the, the watch to the phone. So let's switch to kid view. And here we have on the kid, here we have the kid view. We can tap now on the profile icon again to open the account menu. And now we can tap on setup device. If you're not sure if you're uh, on the or rather in the kid view, you will see this button right here. Switch to parent view if you are in the kid view at the moment. If you don't have this button, this means you're in the parent view. Okay, so let's tap on setup device. Select the Ace 3 for kids. And now we need to enter the password uh, we use to log in into account, basically the Guardian password. So let's enter the password. To confirm, we are the guardian and tap on confirm. Now we can tap on setup ACE free for hard re reset or whatever the name of your account is, then tap on I agree. Here you can tap on OK, I did it. And now the phone should start looking for your smart band. And once it's done, you will see the number on the smart band and you, you need to enter it to confirm the pairing. Uh -uh. 
then tap on pair and here you can allow or deny the permission for the location and the notifications again uh, allow them or deny them according to your preferences i'm just gonna allow them but if you want to deny them you can also do that and once you're done with the permissions you will see the tutorial how to use the smart band and you can tap on next to continue i'm just gonna go through it but if you want to read it please go ahead i'm just gonna skip through it quite quickly next 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 and once you're done with the tutorial you'll see this page and you can tap on done and now you should see the ace free on the list of devices on the account page you can tap on it to open the device page for your ace free this means that the devices are paired okay and that's how you pair the smart band with the iphone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video